do they call this thing? It's a beat. A beat? A yep. Honda beat. That is fucking rad. Only available in Japan. No shit. Yeah. Flight never seen. Yeah. I've literally never seen one. I think this is the only one in Colorado. Gotta be. Went ahead and made a bat for car shows. Put it in the back window. Matches the paint, the eventual patina, and then I may mist these with a little bit of chrome to give them kind of the hint of chrome to match the stainless trim everywhere. And then that just goes along with the car. Lucille. This is why you should never poke at a rust spot until you're actually ready to repair it. That thing goes all the way through. This is a bad spot on the Bel Air because the rain tends to build up in this crack here and run down and it'll puddle. And then you also get rocker panel rust. So there was some holes under here. He obviously patched it here, but the rust has eaten through it. So I'm gonna need to make a patch panel for here. Probably have to put some weld in here and in here. And then another patch panel that goes this way and then possibly one on the back to seal it all in. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up and rust treated and then start making some cardboard templates for the patch panels I need to make, cut it out of steel, and weld them in. Definitely need to clean under here, but I wanted to get the seat out of the way. I'm also going to try and pull the screws out of this trim. Get the trim out of the way so I can get the carpet out of the way. Make sure everything's pulled out of the area. And then I'm going to apply some of this rust dissolver navel jelly. This is the best stuff I found, honestly. The Loctite brand at any auto parts store works better than any of the other stuff I've tried. It's actually like the stuff we had in the Navy. It dissolves on contact, converts it back to a metal. There will be a little powder residue and you will need to wash it off. I think with vinegar, but water works, especially a little bit of Dawn in some water and it neutralizes everything and stops the acid from working anymore. And then let it air dry and you can paint it with some Rust-Oleum or some kind of protectant primer to keep the rust from coming back. So I'm gonna get some of this stuff out of the way with a wire wheel, clean up these edges, and then I'm gonna put some rust dissolver everywhere, including in this hole to try and stop some of the spread into the other panels. Now with the carpet out of the way, I can see there's a little more rust up here. There's some surface rust where the seat went. So I'm gonna try and treat all of this somehow, even if it's just with some rust oleum spray. So I'm definitely gonna get all this clean and dissolve as much of this rust as I can to keep it from spreading further into the parts. So now I've equipped the grinder with a wire wheel you can use the cup style, you can use this style, you can even try the flapper discs, but for intricate angles, this seems to be the best. It will throw off a lot of these needles, so you're gonna wanna wear eye protection, ear protection for the noise, long sleeve and gloves, because you do not want this thing slinging needles into your arm. Now with the paint backed off enough to actually be able to weld this shut, I should be fine there. Then I can grind it smooth, throw some more paint on it. Down here though, I'm gonna need to get in a little better with a probing tool. I may even just cut some of this out and then I should just be able to put a patch panel in there, box it in and be done. Most people don't like using these grinders, especially with wheels this big or this style. They can get a little unruly, wrap up in your shirt, twist around, cut a finger off. They're deadly, obviously. Never push into the material. Let the weight of the grinder do the work. That way it can bounce around instead of 
binding. There's no rush except to the emergency room. So watch out for fingers and toes and everything should go fine. So at this point, I'm going to pour a little bit of this rust resolver onto some napkins, obviously wearing gloves because this is an acid. And I will treat the areas that I can reach and try and get some inside this rocker panel as well so that the rust stops from the inside out. Once it's treated and cured, I'll clean it off and go ahead and tack this shut, make some cardboard templates for this guy and this guy and over here and tack those in. This will all be boxed in and sealed from the outside once I'm done. So I got everything cleaned up and vacuumed all the water out that I could. I still need to vacuum some dirt that was under the carpet. Checking the other side doesn't look nearly as bad, but there is some rust going on. So I'll probably at least treat it and come back to it some other time with just a few welds. Or I can probably just treat it and then hit it with a few welds and fill in this gap here. Hopefully that doesn't rust anymore. Looks like there was another repair here. You can see the Bondo horrible job we're gonna get the grinder over here clean this up so it looks like i need to make a little patch panel for here and tack that back down to where it's supposed to be nothing too hard got this all grinded smooth now it's some patch panels for this guy i need to make some cardboard template once i get the cardboard measured out i can trace it to some sheet metal cut out some patch panels and then tack them in one at a time make sure they're all straight and then finish weld each of the seams clean it up like this prime it and we're done all right went ahead and painted this area i think it looks a lot better now i got this guy all tacked into place i'll slowly fill out the rest of the holes and grind it clean and then prime it and paint it I got the patch panels all done. It's kind of hard to get in here with the grinding wheel, but it's not structural, so it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just got to not be rusty, and I think I got it pretty much sealed up. The door shuts like it's supposed to, no binding. I'm going to throw some paint on here, and it'll be done. If you liked what you saw, click that like button. And if you want to see more as soon as I upload a video, click that subscribe button. And as always, guys, keep on modding.